Previously, on Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh, somebody hit that man and BOW! Oh, get over here! Yeah. And now we continue. Hey everybody, hey, welcome back to more Rise of the Tomb Raider 20th year celebration! In the last part, we actually made our way through the, the base camp and actually are now making our way up to the Atlas. So, what we gotta do now, we gotta go, well, I'm pretty sure I just covered all that. Oh my, you know, it's so difficult trying to get this. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh! No, oh my gosh. I'm like, it's so simple to join this right when you wake up. <laughs> I literally just woke up like two seconds ago. It's like, it's very difficult to do this when I just woke up, but don't worry guys. Oh, persevere. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's go guys. I thought I just killed the fuck out of Shiva. What the fuck? I killed the tiger from The Walking Dead. I killed the tiger! Oh wait, that reminds me, I want to talk to you guys about The Walking Dead. So, apparently, okay, so, now I think it's a good time to talk about, you know, I can actually tell you guys about Negan's kill, like, who Negan killed, and, like, the impact and all that, because it's been a while, I mean, they're all right, you keep your skin, your skin, it's been a while, uh, the second, the second episode's already, you know, up, so, I won't, I won't talk about the second episode until, uh, tomorrow, I think, or tomorrow, should be good. Thin, fluted flint arrowhead uh, snapped, in, snapped two. in two. Hmm, the base is familiar. How is it familiar? Is it something that you used to use? The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. How? The technique survived migration halfway around the world. Wow, that's, that's, that's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. So basically, Negan fucking killed Abraham and Glenn. Which, Abraham shocked me, cause Cause like, yeah, he was supposed to die in the comics. Abraham was a, in the comics. Abraham was the one that was supposed to get the arrowhead, the arrow in the face. Like, remember in the show? Heads up. We seem to have lost contact was, with um, the team sweeping the lower valley. No, I killed Do the team the on them. They're all dead. Negative. Possible hostiles? Could just be radio interference. But Constantine's not taking chances. No, I killed them. Don't worry, I killed them. <laughs> <laughs> have a taste of my knife. So, basically... Um, in the comics, in the comics, um, Abraham was one that get the arrow stuck in his, that get, uh, get shot with the arrow in the head, not the, um, the lesbian girl. Uh, another reading. We heard of the Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. We heard strange tales of miracles of the Prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak. Heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God. Claimed that no man could. But his wisdom was plain. And not a one of us in that form could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again. Wow. Wow, okay. So, yeah, in the comics... It was the les in the comics. It was Abraham that died, but the show was the lesbian girl died. So I guess this is the show's way of like, you know, keeping things out. But Glenn's death, that honestly, that both shocked and dead shocked me. It was like, if you guys watch Naruto, and when you found out that Minato is actually Naruto's dad, you were both shocked and not shocked, right? You guys felt like it was shocked, but not that. Like, yeah, we all sort of knew it. But like, oh my gosh, man, Toe was Naruto dad? Like, we both saw it. I mean, come on, the hairstyle for, come on, Naruto. Like, like how did you not already figure out that man, so really aka the fourth Hokage, was your dad? Ah, fuck. Yeah, what's next? Like, seriously, you guys yes. have the exact same it's hairstyle. Like, way, how, the anime is. logic, you're related. <laughs> anime so logic, you have the similar or same hairstyle, That's you're a related. I'm not clear on. Whatever his source is, it's gotta be something valuable. No! Come on. Oh, knife step! There you go. Okay, so I can either... No, I can't. I'm like, I can either go there, or wait, no, I can't. So, this, yeah, so Negan killed Glenn, but I was so scared that Negan killed Daryl. That was what I was afraid of. Oh! Oh, don't do that to me, gay. Don't scare me like this. 
because like Glunt, Daryl is my favorite character in the show. Like, like other than Rick and Carl, like other than the main cast, like a main character, so Carl and Rick, because we all know they don't die. <laughs> like, like yeah, they may you know may look like they're about to die, but they don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> like no, nah, they don't. They don't die. <laughs> they don't. Other than Carl and Rick, yeah, I'm Daryl's my favorite because she is so like. Undoubtedly badass, and you have to admit he's also sort of good looking. Like he, like after all this shit that they went through in the game, he still he still looks sexy as fuck. He still looks sexy as fuck. And I was so scared because like most of the evidence pointed towards Daryl dying, and that's what scared the living shit out of me. I'm like, no, no, kill Daryl, please. He's too sexy of a man to die. But then when when um. Negan killed Fred, and it was fucked up, because they did a really good job of, like, uh, they, the whole makeup of, like, how, like, his brain and all that shit, like, oh, fuck, like, half his, like, half his face was carved in, like, eyeballs popping out, like, all that was in the comics. All that gorgeous was in the comics. The way they recreated it from the comics to the show, I gotta admit, well, fuck, God, man, well, God. I was actually did a really good job. Like, I'm actually impressed. Yeah! Come on, get up there. Ugh. They actually did a really good job. I'm actually really proud of that. But, that shocked me. Yeah, I'll be like, my sister was literally crying. Me and my sister, we usually watch Walking Dead together. Like, when Walking Dead comes on, just me and her sitting together, like, watching, preparing to, like, preparing ourselves for what fucked up this that may come. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Okay, I'll tell you a story after this country. It's got to be down there. It is down there. <sighs> take her hostage! Run up and take her hostage! Oh, oh shit, no, 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 no. no. Uh, Lori, we're gonna see you, you're gonna see you. She's like, ah, oh, fuck it. Go over here, bitch! Kill him, Shoot Laura. her! That would be cold even for you, Lara. Speak for yourself. Shoot her! You have a again. clear I shot! You have a Shoot trap. her! Shoot me, and my men will cut you down within seconds. It's the one thing they're better at than you. Shut up, Anna. Don't move! You have nowhere to go! Kill her! Now! Gosh, another reading! Croft continues to create difficulties for us. She's rallied the Valley people from their squalid huts and helped lead them to a series of victories. I wish I could make her understand just how wrong she is. How misguided her ideas of morality are. The world is too flawed for stopgaps. A lone hero cannot rescue it. The idea of revealing the divine source to the world would be laughable if it wasn't so dangerous. Did I think she could be turned to Trinity's side before? Yes. But not anymore. We were close, she and I. There is a bond there, but... I think now there is no other choice. She must be broken. And I know she can be broken. I've broken stronger than her. <laughs> oh, fucking 
Bring it on, bitch! Oh, bring it on, bitch! I got an SMG, a shotgun, handgun, and a bow and arrow. Bitch, <laughs> bring it! I've been cutting down your own men like it was breakfast. Fucking bring it. I totally forgot what I was saying before this. Oh yeah, me and my sister we watched The Walking Dead together. And That's it. The Atlas. It has to be. The Atlas. Why does it look like An the freaking mural. Apple of Eden from Assassin's Creed? And those vessels. Yes, Greek but... fire. Greek fire, yes. Prometheus. But let me, let me go to the base camp. Okay, so that's gonna be I'm ahead video. of Anna now. Oh but I don't gosh. know what I've gotten myself into here. You got into shit. Something else dwells in the darkness of this place. But I've got to continue. I've come too far. Anna thinks she knows me. And maybe she does on some level, but she doesn't know everything. And as long as she continues to underestimate me, I might still have the upper hand. Yeah, sure, upper hand. Uh, yeah, the shotgun's not gonna help. The SMG, the handgun, the bow and arrow, the plate, explosive, and poison rounds. Oh, oh, and the fact that we survived all this shit before, and we cutting down her men by the dozen. But yeah, 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 sure. Let's, let's go with that, Laura. Let's go with that. But well, come back, we'll be going over to the Atlas, getting the Atlas, finding all the divine sources, and getting us the hell out of here. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you all in the next Tomb Raidery awesome part. Peace out, everyone, and have a marvelous, spectacular Tomb Raider filled day. Get rockets! Get rockets! Yeah. Okay. Ah! Suck my nuts, tyrant!